the mark of the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. Just hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar. No one can help him. It's me!
Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Standing sport, you're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel? to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Make it stop! You we shan't save the life <laughs> <laughs>
Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. Disgrace! I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Old Papa's dropped the worst dark, neighborhood in Rapture, shit. but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown.
pawn shop, but it's bolted up tight. You'll have to find another way inside, I expect.
played by Mr. Ryan's rules. What do they expect? You keep enough drug stash in this clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. Eleanor's grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free.
That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Every man for himself these days. You. Nah. Nah. Easy now. 
Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. She's gonna watch me do this, son. <laughs> Now you forgot to start your camera rolling first. Remember, you don't get nearly as much out of researching a corpse. Here's the angel. <laughs> Hunt him down! 
Without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. The Tin Daddy does not have a family of its own. It is a made thing, a creature without soul. It does not create, it does not love. Are you fucking serious? Ha <laughs> ha 
Looks like you neglected to film those big bruises back there. Head back and get some footage of the corpses. Not exactly ideal, but it's enough for the camera to do its work. Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shuttle bus. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key.
Snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. <laughs>
Andrew Ryan told me that in rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bum! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? The blue morpho bounces off the glass as I watch. I hold these paper effigies as secret badges for the faithful. The morpho caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon. It just grows armor on the inside before the change. It is us to wear I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried, but baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down, broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor is waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now. Letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. <laughs> 